Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my brushed ESC speed test video. I have here nine brushed ESCs. We're gonna measure how fast they can spin that RC car wheel and compare the results with the previous batch. I will point out here that not all of the ESCs have the same specs. I have here four 60 amp ESCs and five that are 70 plus amps. So let me show you what I'm testing today. First, I wanna say that I bought all of these ESCs with my own money. There are usually multiple listings for the same items and I try to buy them when they're at their lowest price. And these prices do change so by the time you watch this video it might be more or less than what I paid for them. Let's start with this Ghoul RC 60 amp ESC. Its layout and form factor looks a lot like a Hobbywing 1060 clone. So we'll see if it performs the same. I got this on eBay for $9. Next is this Rain RC 320 amp ESC. I think they're quoting the peak current and the continuous current is also 60 amp like the others. I also have the quote 480 amp one as well. We'll see that one later. I got this on eBay for $15.98. Here we have this no brand 60 amp ESC. It's distinctive because of its translucent case. I actually got one of these a couple years back. It went up in smoke right out of the box and I threw it away. I've already tested this one and it works fine. I got this no brand ESC on eBay for $12.79. And the fourth 60 amp ESC is one we saw in the last video. It's branded by Kai RC and it has this distinctive tall red heat sink. The first one I bought was a dud but I thought I'd give it a second chance. I've already tested this one and I got this on eBay as well for $15.69. This Globok 80 amp ESC came in a 550 motor combo. I have a separate video showing this ESC and motor in detail. I'll link it in the description below. And I got this combo on Amazon for $31.77. This is the Rain RC 480 amp brushed ESC. I searched for its continuous current rating and it is 80 amps as well. You can see the form factor is the same as the 320 amp ESC with the addition of a fan. I bought this one on eBay for $22.99. This is the ESC70 from ISDT. They're most known for their line of battery chargers. It's programmable with their mobile app. I think it's a serious contender for best budget crawler ESC. I did a separate video for the ESC70 as well. Link in description. And I got this on Amazon for $24.99. And this is the venerable Hobbywing 1080 80 amp brushed ESC. This is a favorite amongst RC crawler builders. I have several of these ESCs myself, and I can say that they are reliable, powerful, programmable, and a relatively good value. The 1080 is available on HobbyWingDirect.com for $43.99. And finally, this is the Tamiya tble 4 s Just like the O2S, this is both a brushed and brushless ESC. It is rated at 75 amps. I believe this one sold by a US seller was taken out of a brand new Tamiya kit. I don't know about the ones shipping from overseas. And I got this one on eBay for $26.49. Alright, we have the ESC introductions out of the way. Let me show you the test setup. So I have here the Tamiya M06 Europa. This is the only chassis I'm going to use because I didn't see any great differences in the last test. It is rear wheel drive with a Tamiya 540J motor in the back and the tires are 60 millimeters in diameter. I'm going to use the same nickel metal high drive battery, the same servo, the same Sanwa MX6 transmitter and receiver. The only test variable will be the ESC. I have a small piece of reflective tape right here. The RPM meter will read that to measure the wheel speed. We're going to measure three times and use the average. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to say that's 3365. Let's do a second run. Three three six two. And three three six one. I'm going to round out the average to three three six three. Each time I change the ESC, I'm going to take the battery out and top it off. 
I'm going to spare you from the boring parts and skip right to the results. After I recorded that, I realized the conditions were different from the first video. So I ended up testing all 16 ESCs with this setup. And here are the results. First off, the tires were 60 millimeters in diameter. And both the Dynamite and Kyosho ESCs were purchased used. These are the raw numbers. I'll leave it up on the screen for a bit if you want to pause or take a screenshot. The difference between the fastest ESC at 3,396 RPMs and the slowest at 2,981 is 415 RPMs. Extrapolating that data in ideal conditions and moving in a straight line for one minute, the RAIN ESC card would have traveled 256 feet further than the one powered by the no brand 60 amp ESC. For reference, 256 feet is equal to around 85 yards on a football field or 78 meters. So what conclusions can we draw with the speed test? Well, we know some ESCs spin the wheels faster than others. The price does not necessarily buy you a lot more performance. But inversely, just because something is budget friendly, it doesn't mean it's slow or bad. However, I would point out a few ESCs that I would not buy. I would not buy these three for my own builds. The generic 60 amp, the Kai RC 60 amp, and the no brand 60 amp ESCs. I experienced intermittent glitches during testing with all three of these. I just can't trust them in the car I care about. I'm probably going to swap these out into a Shelf Queen that already has a 1060 or a Tamiya ESC in them. I also wouldn't buy or use the Tamiya TBLE O2S or O4S ESCs anymore. We know they're not as fast as the Hobbywing 1060 and they're also more expensive. From what I understand, Tamiya has already discontinued the TBLE O2S and will probably do the same with the O4S. So unless you're purists who insist on Tamiya Electronics, I would hold on to the unused TBLEs and keep them as collector's items. Instead, I would recommend using a kit-included Hobbywing 1060 like this one, a retail box version, or even a clone 1060 like this one from Ghoul RC if you're on a tight budget. I wouldn't spend the extra money for an HPI or Kyosho 1060 look like. You'd be paying an extra $20-$25 for rebranding. You can use that savings for a better servo or an extra battery. If you're not comfortable with off-brand electronics, get the retail box Hobbywing 1060 instead. Whichever version you choose, the 1060 would be my first choice for brushed ESCs. If you race in your local Tamiya Euro Truck stock class and you're currently running the kit included TBLE O2S, should you switch over to the Hobbywing 1060 if it's allowed? I'm going to test which ESC will give you more wheel speed with these tires and this TTO one e chassis and this Reedy Wolfpack stick lipo battery. I'm also curious how much runtime we'll get from each ESC. So look out for that video very soon. If you're looking for a setup for something heavier like a short course truck, I would take a look at the Globock combo with the 12 turn motor. I think this would be a good replacement for a Traxxas XL5 Titan combo and a slash two wheel drive. They also have a 21 turn motor combo, which would work well for a crawler. This Hobbywing 1080 with a Holmes Hobby Trailmaster 21 turn motor used to be my go-to setup for crawlers. They've been great, I have no complaints. This Globock ESC and motor is only $33. And the 1080 Trailmaster combo is over $65. So if you're on a tighter budget, give this Globock set a try. If you're building a crawler and thinking about using a Hobbywing 1080, take a look at the ISDT ESC70 as well. There are plenty of informational and review videos to watch on YouTube. I have an unboxing video myself, link below. The ESC70 is $25 and the 1080 is currently $44. They both have about the same footprint. The 1080 is a little bit more compact. The ESC70 uses a Bluetooth app for programming. The 1080 comes with a plug-in programming card. I think the Hobbywing 1080 has a solid competitor here. The most surprising standouts are the Rain RC320 and 480 amp ESCs. I don't know what to say about these. They're competitive, but I don't know how reliable or durable they are. If you own either one of these, please let me know what you think about them in the comments below. I'm going to reserve judgment until I've had a chance to use them. 
So I tested 16 brushed ESCs today and got some interesting results. Out of all these ESCs, which one are you going to buy next? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. If you got anything out of it, please drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.